body movements how animals without bones move you know that bones joints and muscles in our body help us move in different ways just like humans many animals also have bones joints and muscles which help them move but what about the animals that do not have bones and joints in them at all really these animals have no bones in their body so how do they move the earthworm's muscles help it move look at how an earthworm moves it slides ahead on the ground the body of an earthworm is made up of many rings of muscle each ring is called a segment can you see the segments here all the rings or segments are joined together the earthworm contracts and extends these rings alternately and moves forward the earthworm fixes its front to the ground then its whole body contracts and follows the front then it fixes its back to the ground then its whole body expands and goes ahead it keeps doing this again and again and moves ahead you must be wondering how does the earthworm fix its front or back to the ground if you look at the bottom side of the earthworm's body you will see that it has a lot of tiny hair like things these tiny hair like things are called bristles where have you heard the word bristles the hair like things on your toothbrush are called bristles too so bristles are short and stiff they don't bend a lot and aren't long like hair these bristles are connected to the muscles and they help the earthworm get a grip on the ground and push ahead the earthworm can move these bristles in and out and move through the soil or on the ground the earthworm can move better on slightly rough surfaces rather than super smooth surfaces can you guess why that's because the bristles need to get a grip for the earthworm to move on a smooth surface like glass it doesn't get that grip the earthworm moves around with just its muscles it can move even though it has no bones or joints the earthworm secretes a slimy substance that helps it in movement interesting earthworm facts the earthworm breathes through its skin so its body is always wet that helps it breathe as earthworms burrow through the soil they create tunnels for air to enter that makes the soil better for plant growth earthworms eat their way through the soil it swallows the soil along with roots leaves etc and excretes the undigested part this undigested excretion makes the soil fertile and rich because of all this an earthworm is called a farmer's friend what is this animal it's a snail 
Snails move quite slowly. Snails are also creatures without bones. So, their muscles help them move. The big shell that you see on the snail is hard and a part of the snail's body that grows with the snail. It helps protect the snail as the snail can retreat into its shell. The shell does not help the snail move. In fact, the snail has to drag the shell along wherever it goes. The snail has one large foot. This is the muscle that helps the snail move. Put a snail on a glass and look at the glass from below. Watch how the muscles in the foot contract in waves and help the snail move ahead. The snail also produces a slimy liquid called mucus. The slime makes the surface smooth and reduces friction. That helps the snail move ahead even more smoothly. The mucus makes a layer on the surface. That protects the snail from the surface it's on. So, the snail can even go safely over very rough or sharp object. Watch how the snail can go over a razor blade. The snail is another animal that moves around with just its muscles. It can move even though it has no bones or joints. This is an animal you've all seen and I'm sure you don't like. A cockroach. Cockroaches have no bones and joints either. Still, you know they can move fast and they can fly. Cockroaches have six legs, so they have three pairs of legs. The muscles near the legs help the legs move so the cockroach can run or walk. Cockroaches have four wings, which is two pairs of wings. The muscles near the chest help the wings move, which lets the cockroach fly. They have a hard structure on the outside of their body. It's not really a skeleton, but it helps a little in movement. What did we just learn? 
animals without bones show movement by using muscles and other adaptations like scales in snakes slime in earthworm and snail